So let's see if I can fix this because we're going to talk about protein and meet my people as soon as I get this fixed. <laughs> this stupid thing. Let's see here. I wasn't even trying to go live. It just accidentally hit the button and here you go. Not ready. All right, here we go. Let's see if you guys are coming into the house. All right, my people, let's do this. So I, I mean, I have consultations every day and then I was eating some egg yolks for dinner and I was like, you know what? I need to talk about the nutrition in the meat. What meat you should you be consuming? Uh, yay, you caught me alive. So let's break down uh why we need meat if we're doing keto or carnivore carnivore and how plants don't just give you a complete set of amino acids 26 amino acids for building 22 or 26 amino acids to build muscle so we need protein and what's really great about animal what's up everyone what is amazing about animal uh anything is all the nutrition that we're getting including the organ meats which is really really important but yes people keep asking me if they should be counting the protein in their plant source foods and I'm like uh, no uh, 12 eggs a day is way too much and the reason why 12 eggs a day is too much see this wonderful edible incredibly edible egg it's amazing. It has all these amazing properties in it. Like it has iodine in it, although not a lot, but it has iodine. It's got choline. It's got high levels of A though, uh, good levels of high vitamin D and E. So that's what's really great. And then it's cholesterol, high in cholesterol, which is like amazing and an amazing uh, antioxidant that no one talks about it. everybody's afraid to eat friggin eggs and they should not be afraid to be eating eggs at all unless you have an egg allergy then you need to be careful for the whites so I'm a little sensitive to the whites so I just eat the yolks and I prefer the yolk yes the incredible edible egg Unfortunately, there's six grams of protein in egg, and two of them still remain in the yolk. Some of you guys have a sensitivity in, in the yolks. So if you're eating eggs, check to see if you got a little, <clears throat> right? Because a lot of people are like, well, what, what are histamine sy symptoms? I'm like, literally, it can be anything. It can be aches, pains, headaches. It can be feeling anxious or anxiety after you've eaten, like, certain foods you're like why am i anxious i just had meat i'm doing carnivore you know and i'll take your guys' questions in a second um now uh in the whole carnivore carnivore world it's so limiting because people are like just eat beef you got a pimple just eat beef you got a toothache just eat beef. No, my people do not just eat beef. They all have different, well, like, you know, you could, if you're low in iodine, you could be having fish or you could be having eggs and you're not going to just eat cow beef. Like a lot of you guys literally are listening to these other people say like, just eat beef. And then people just eat beef. Then you're not having a diversity of the micronutrients. You're not having a diversity of bacteria. I mean, my people, and if you're buying supermarket beef, it's probably loaded in preservatives and a bunch of other junk. I would not be eating raw ground beef. Unless you, what I've learned from processing my own deer, I did it myself, I cut the fur off, cut everything off, cut the organs out, Steph did it. Cause I moved to the country. Uh, I wouldn't be eating meat if I knew, like it was, sh I hate to say these words, it was, it was taken out. It was ch -ch -ch the day before, and uh, then in very cold weather, hung in cold weather, makes a big difference, right? People hang them in their barns, 
and it was processed in a barn at night when it was like probably like 35 degrees outside Fahrenheit okay um the reason why, I mean, I prefer beef over chicken because the percentage, they have a lot of the same thing. The problem is, is the lack of CoQ10, but other things like selenium and iron and, um, what does it, chicken has, it has B complex, definitely has zinc, it has selenium, it has niacin, but it doesn't have like the CoQ10, it doesn't have the iodine, it doesn't have, the, except for the eggs, it doesn't have the um, fat soluble vitamins that beef has. So I'm, gonna, I'm missing some of you guys' comments, but we'll get there. So it's just, it has a lot. It does have the B complex, but it like for those who are just like coming out of vegetarianism and you wanna know if you could just eat beef, eggs and butter, and I'm like, and I'm sorry, not beef, uh, uh, chicken, eggs, and butter. And I'm like, mm, well, that's where red meats play a role that is very, very important. Now, I don't think anybody should do muscle meats without doing organ meats because you're going to be losing a lot of, like, if you're eating beef, you're not always getting fatty cuts because, I mean, I'm lucky because I live around the corner from people who've got cattle and that's why I moved to the south I'm eating grass-fed um, beef uh, my neighbors gave me a ton of it and deer meat and uh, free-range chicken eggs because everybody got them Lord have mercy mm. so um, we you know if, if you guys are doing let's say beef and it just doesn't have enough vitamin C in it. That's when you want to like kind of beef up your liver and eat some liver. Because uh, uh, the reason why liver is such, it is like the most important organ and meat, dare I say, on the planet outside of like seafood. Because it has high percentages of selenium and zinc and copper and manganese and vitamin C. These are things that might come in lower percentages in other meats. So that's the reason why liver is so important because they'll have like high levels of these things. And when you guys are having problems with your thyroid, for example, you must have zinc and selenium and iodine. Must. Must, must, must. Which then brings on the whole shellfish game. Because shellfish, to me has become a game changer if you don't. A lot of people have allergies to shellfish, especially when it's not fresh. So you gotta think about fresh shellfish as well. The problem with seafood, with a lot of people who've got histamine, is that the bacteria that is, is if you think that a hung beef, like the supermarket beef, it was hung, it'd be hung from 10 to 20 days, right? Bacteria is growing on that. And that's why a lot of you might be having histamine. So histamine could be, you know, you could be like clearing your throat every time you eat a meal. <clears throat> uh, and I have a friend, she's always doing that after she's eating certain foods. She's like, <clears throat> after she eats incredible edibles, the eggs. And she's like, <clears throat> I said, you have histamine? She's like, no, I don't. I've been eating, eat uh, and she's like, <clears throat> I was like, you have histamine responses, especially to the whites of your eggs. And so she had to acquiesce and be like, darn it. Um, so we have to think about the quality of our meats, where it's coming from, um, and then if you are nutrient deficient. So a lot of women are having low iron and low hemoglobin, right? You need, you need hemoglobin, you need iron to carry oxygen around the cells so you don't feel like absolute garbage and tired and all of this. And people need their B6, they need zinc, for healing the gut wall, right? That's what's in a lot of these meats. Um, you need zinc and copper to deal with the histamine response. But then the meat that you're eating, oh man, I did not mute my phone. Let's mute it because we're not doing this tonight. Okay. Um, the foods that we really want, like, like I like when people mix things up. If you can handle 
egg yolks, then we're going to get the omega-3s. We're going to get some medium chain triglycerides in, in the, um, no, that's in the butter. <laughs> that's in butter, <laughs> but which is a whole nother thing. It's not meat, but it's still an animal, you know, part of the animal. But you're going to get omegas. You're going to get omegas. You're going to get omegas in, uh, in egg yolks. And you're going to get choline. And you're going to get vitamin A for your eyes. When I hear noises outside, I always get nervous because I got big animals. Big. I got dinosaurs outside. Well, big and mini dinosaurs. Sorry about that. Um, let's see here. Uh, so, for those, some people develop a histamine to beef and they might do better. A lot of people are having histamine issues. But it's not always just the, it's not always just. Yes. It's dinosaur feeding time. We're going to have to take a break, people, on the replay and give my friggin' big horse a stupid carrot or something and have him get away from the door while it's cold outside. One second. I'll bring you with me. And then we're going to get back to this. So this is the pause, right? This is where people are like, and if you buy this product, I have my, my sponsor is Let's Get Checked, which is true. So if you want to check your A1C or... Um, <laughs> Your A1C or your reproductive hormones, what else do they test? Your thyroid, thyroid reproductive, A1C is a really good one. Oh, and your um, kidney score. Let's go give this horse some food or else he's, you hear that? It feels like sometimes I get scared because it sounds like somebody's breaking down my door and it's my freaking horse. Hold on one second. give some carrots to some horses I always feel really weird buying like in my supermarket buying carrots because I'm like the keto woman what are you doing eating carrots hold on my people I always to put this close to the chest you don't see my freaking RV because it needs I've got stuff everywhere because it just cooked what do you want what do you want? What do you want? Stop trying to break down my door. No, stop doing that. What? Don't do that. Don't break my door. Don't thunder. It's cold outside too. Freaking move to California. Perfect weather to this cold. And what do you want, little monster? You'll polka dot it, Appaloosa? What? Say yeah? Yeah? Thunder. Oh my goodness. Yeah? Thunder. Yeah? Yeah? Come on, you on camera right now. Yeah? 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 Don't get annoyed with me. Yeah? <laughs> oh shit. I got a new donkey. That's Juno right there. What? What, dude? It's cold outside. Oh, what do you want, Lulu? And you? Trick or treat. All right, here. Well, come on, Lulu. Don't bite my finger off. Hey, Bruno. This is Bruno. I mean, Juno. I'm calling you Bruno for Bruno Mars. Okay. I named him and I'm still naming him wrong. All right. Hold on, Thunder. Okay, leave me alone after this. All right? Here. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. This is cute. Side. Hey, dinosaur. Side. Oh, side. Good boy. Yeah. 
Did you bite my shoe? Okay, one more, dude. That's it. All right. I will be back, guys. No more. No. Okay, that's it. No more. No! Stop it, Thunder. Oh, it's cold as shite outside. Sorry, guys. I, like, lost a person. They're like, I'm not watching this. I came here to learn. This stupid stand isn't doing what I want it to do. Okay. Here we go. All right. <sighs> Bart K criticized me for taking breaks on my horses. That is the dumbest thing I ever heard. He's like searching for freaking splitting hairs. Bart, I still love you. Don't hate. Appreciate. There's only one Stephanie, okay? <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Look, it is what it is, right? I'd love to see Bart K out doing what I'm doing. What? What? Come on, Bart K, let's do let's do handstand push-up challenge. Right? Skateboard? No? Ride horses? No? <laughs> Come on now. Alright. How about Bart K and I do like a workout challenge? Okay. Here we go. He needs to eat some organ meats. He needs to find love in his heart. He once did. He, you know, Bart K interviewed me three times on his channel, and he got he's getting mad at me because I keep criticizing carnivore. Relax, my brother. I still love you. I still love you. We got love. We don't got hate. Okay. So let's talk about what I see in clients and, and what, I, what meats I feel that are very important for them. Okay. So we have women, right. Who are still menstruating and some women who've got low iron as well. Their bodies are not absorbing iron. And what I've been learning about people who have been breastfed, not have, have not been breastfed vaginally birthed, who've been taken like 20,000 hokey pokies, in the arm and the shoulder people are like what does that mean i was like how slow are some people who don't know what what a freaking anyway if you've been having those a lot of as a, a child if you've been um if you were on antibiotics uh and one thing i'm really learning about is the cereal that we grew up on the um pesticides so glyphosate it destroys the microvilli in your small intestine within the microvilli you have cells and these cells have um do so many things they help break down the food they they release a lot of enzymes so we can continue to break down certain things like we start with amylase in the stomach but then we have protease and we have lipase and a lot of you guys can't even break down the nutrition to absorb this these vitamins and minerals right because of the glyphosate a lot of the glyphosate in the food. So people don't think about the non-organic produce that they're consuming. They're just eating out at restaurants or they, 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 they don't feel that they can afford. Um, and even the feed, you know, because a lot of horses and cows are... Um, There's a thing that sucks about the Amish. I was like trying to figure out where to get my feed because they use a lot of pesticides on the feed of course and i don't want that anymore i just want like organic carrots and no more glyphosate because yeah um you can look at the poop of these animals and see how mushy it is and you see the same thing in humans they don't have fully formed stool so a lot of you guys who've developed leaky gut because of pesticides can't even absorb these nutrients that i'm talking about that are in these meats so you'll have people be vitamin D deficient and they'll they'll be outside in the sun and they're eating butter and they're having uh, their eggs and they're still vitamin D deficient or they're having their liver and they're still not vitamin D or they're having their their oysters. 
And so you have to look at the health of your gut. This is a thing. This is a thing. That's why you can't just do these diets willy nilly. And then we've got people who are having problems with too high iron. They're not uptaking the iron. And this is becoming more and more. So if you guys, what you need to do when before you do a carnivore diet or a keto diet is to know what's going on with your A1C. Know what's, know what's going on with your iron levels. Because you're going to be eating a lot of meat, not as in the, the amount per meal, but instead of people eating rice and bread and potatoes, they're going to be using meat and meat fats. So it's really, really important to understand if your iron levels are already too high. For women who are going through menopause, for men, you need to check your iron. There's a lot of people are in developing something that most people would never see in their lifetime, which is hemochromatosis. And this is dangerous when you have too high iron levels in the body. My daughter is allergic to egg whites, but she tried some homegrown and not from the store. She can eat them. And that's a lot. That's a huge thing about pastured eggs. And so, you know, the GOV or mint, the GOV or mint, and I'm breaking up the words because, of course, on YouTube now we have to be careful for everything we say. They are starting to regulate people wanting to have their own chickens. They don't want us to be healthy. Like, you can't make this stuff up. So, you guys need to check out, do you have an egg allergy, right? A lot of people have underlying issues with a lot of these meats. They don't even know it, and then they eat volumes of it because somebody told them to, to prime and eat as much meat as possible. Like, you can't make this stuff up. Do not just eat as much meat and fat. There is rhyme and reason to the amounts and the types and the rotations of your meats. Sardines are great. And now we have to start, like, we're so toxic. It's, it's so worrisome. The whole glyphosate thing, there's so much glyphosate. I was, like, listening to this guy talk about how, like, like one or two percent actually hits the crop and the rest gets blown around into the air it ends up in our rain clouds it's rained down on us and you can't escape this freaking disgusting chemical this week has been like a deep dive so you guys are like and, and, and that stuff just literally destroys your gut wall so it's hard to absorb the nutrition in these meats right we've got CoQ10 and red meat, which is amazing, right? We've got CoQ10, we've got zinc, we got we got minerals like zinc, copper, manganese, magnesium, potassium, iodine, sodium. But unfortunately, you guys, you're not going to get all your nutrition from meat. This is a lie. You cannot get all your electrolytes because we are dealing with a different, we're not hunter gatherers anymore. Our bodies are designed to do that. But we're toxic. Our food, it, our, the animals don't eat enough. Uh, uh, the, why do I have to give my horses minerals? They have the same problems that we do. That the food, that nature is not providing them enough of the minerals for them to sustain health. And then we're mineral deficient too. I've been on, I lived on two cattle ranches. Okay. They can't just, soup. they cannot, first of all, a lot of people don't understand that grass does not grow the entire year. So it's that kind of funny when people are like, it's not 100% grass fed. It's, you know, grain finished, you know, I'm like through the winter months. I'm like, if you were to go outside right now, you would see green patches. But what I've learned, my people, is that the green patches that are growing, a lot of them are wheat in the winter and they're in their um, onion grass. It's like a grass. That smells like onion. It's great. You can cook with it and make a soup, but them horses ain't touching that. Then we start looking at the different types of grass. Is, is it fescue? Is it orchard? Is it Bermuda? Is it Timothy? Like y'all don't even know. People are like, just like, I want it organic grass fed. But I mean, what is it being fed? Right? So I'm learning this kind of stuff while being on cattle ranches and then also, you know, how there's so much sugar 
like even in the middle of the day there's so much sugar in the grass and so you have to be careful when you graze these animals um, it's better to graze them in the morning rather than the evening and then the soil itself is so depleted so beef is if I already have to choose between beef and chicken I'm going to choose beef because the percentages of all these minerals are, are, are going to be much higher except for certain like potassium um, I'm going to get to you guys' questions. Somebody asked about avocado, but I'm talking about meat right now. Whoever asked about avocado, the people on the replay have a freaking meltdown if I talk about avocado when I'm talking about meat. So I'll get there. Um, kidney, really great, right? It's got diamine oxidase in it, DAO, for those who've got histamine intolerance. Like I said, histamine can be palpitations. It can be anxiety. It can be headaches. You can have mucus. You can have a rash. You can have brain fog, right? You can feel achy. You can be bloated, you can have diarrhea. These are all, you can have yellow stool. This is a histamine response, right? You just don't feel well when you're eating meats where your your body can't deal with the histamine overload. And it's the quality, like somebody said, my daughter can't eat commercial like supermarket eggs, but if I get pastured eggs, then, because these are pastured eggs, then she doesn't react. So, you know, then we just, like it's so crazy that how much the quality of our food is impacting our ability to deal with the inflammatory responses from, you know, soy, uh, soy fed, uh, uh, chickens. But the things that we want to get in our foods are the bees for energy, right? The bees for mental cognition, uh, CoQ10 for energy. We got zinc and copper for our gut and also for our thyroid. We need cholesterol for our reproductive hormones. So that's why egg yolks and butter are so good, but they're super high histamine foods. Some people cannot handle it. Um, organ meats that are great, uh, people won't, don't consider like brain, brain, tongue, right? High in omega-3. People think they're just getting it from fish. It's not just in fish. You know, eat the tongue. The tongue of a cow is so good for you. Yes, wild caught salmon. Um, but if I was doing, if I was doing, if I was doing strict carnivore again, number one, I'd have a matrix. So I'd be doing fish bones or eggshells or tendons, right? I'd be crunching down like when I was in Africa. And I lived in a village for a couple months and they were chewing the gristly everything, the gristle off the bone and like the cartilage. <laughs> That is a matrix. This will help your fiber. I mean, this will kind of work as a prebiotic fiber, even though it's not fiber, but it is sort of working like a fiber. No, I didn't say the Amish use. No, the, the, the Amish do not use glyph. And then I've got to say glyph, glyph. And then I'll say, oh, I'm trying to break up the words. YouTube does not like these big, Massive corporations make so much money off of the food, the crops. They make so much money. So when you start coming from that, from for them, your videos get sort of shadows. Nobody can find them. So if I break up the word, the algorithm cannot find, cannot tag what I'm saying. So things like intestine, right? The chitlins. Y'all black people know them intestines. People eat intestines really good for you some of these cultures like asia and, and 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 south america and mexican population who are eating a lot of organ meats or their grandparents did and they lived to such an old age or they were able to bear children to such an old age into their late 50s because they were eating all of these organ meats so when i hear people say like oh my god i can't eat the liver i'm like ding dong like what is going on with you you're sick you should see i've got notepads and notepads beyond notepads of I don't show you the whole thing because y'all could st stop freeze frame and see their names and what I wrote about them but I mean if I just go through some of these notes of what people have it's insanity chronic migraines let's see this woman had chronic migraines nausea she's exhausted this is another person exhaustion this person was on birth control pills for 20 years um
Oh, I read about histamine. Histamine draws fluid into the interstitial muscle. Fermented foods. Oh, fermented foods can block your DAO production. Sorry, I'm listening. I just found some of my notes. Blo alcohol blocks DAO. This is an enzyme that breaks down histamine, and so does fermented foods. It doesn't help your histamine. Your sauerkraut? Mm mm. Okay. Oh, this person, Kathy, she's got, well, you don't know her last name. She's got Hashimoto's. Feeling bad for six years, Candida. I was on antibiotics for 30 years. My hair is falling out on carnivore, constipation. She developed from carnivore. I'm telling you guys. If you're going to do a carnivore diet, it is very, very important to rotate your meats. As you can see, the different meats have different types of nutritional content in them. Liver is the best. Kidney is also good because it has the diamine oxidase and the riboflavin, um, which is B2, and that has energy. But we, you also want like um, brain, tongue, small intestine, uh, the Thymus, obviously, thymus is amazing because that's the highest in diamine oxidase. Um, a lot of you guys who are wearing glasses and, or, or, or don't realize that you have a deficiency in vitamin A. This is some real stuff, my people. Some real stuff. Um, eggs, eggs, eggs. I took a bunch of notes before we started this live stream. But I would do like a rotation of every three days, right? So if you're on your period and you're losing iron, you definitely should have more beef rather than chicken. If, if for those who have like bleed a little bit more and have like really heavy days, these are some meats you want to have around your um, your uh, uh, menstrual cycle. Um, if you're working out, and if you're working out heavy, what if? What if you don't have places that sell brain or tongue? Then you're SOL. And if you're my age of 55 going on to 56, you'll know what SOL, SOL means. Okay. Um, but beef, chicken, fish, sardines, salmon, cod, uh, oysters, salmon roe, uh, lamb, Deer, elk, bison. These are some of your meats. Pork. Right? Rotate them. Every three days. You can start two a day. Or you can do one a day. But rotate them. Just don't have beef every day. Because now you're getting beef. You're getting mono foods, monobacterias, types of bacteria, micro, uh, micronutrients. And that's why we rotate. So people are developing too high levels of what? Uric acid. You're dehydrated. What's another problem? Iron. Careful, my people. Okay, I'm going to take your guys' questions and, and uh, comments. And then we got some living to do instead of being online. Because I don't want to be on too late. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm, I'm going to hit all of your comments. Everybody on the replay, if you don't like that I'm talking to my audience, this is now where you want to stop watching. Okay. Uh, or when I take a break for the horses and talked about my sponsor, Thunder, Luca, Lulu, and my new one, Juno. His name is Juno. I'm going to do a video of all of my new donkeys. So I decided to get another donkey. <laughs> okay, my, my low-carb doc, low doctors. And I'm going to talk about low-carb, high-fat. People are really wanting me to do a full, if I can't do keto and I can't do carnivore and I don't want to be on the standard American diet, how do I still incorporate starches and sugars that are low, higher in fact, fat, and what are the ratios? So I'm going to do that as my next video. 
My low cup doc doctor says that I can't do keto with my current hyperthyroidism as it will put my body through additional stress and worsen my overactive thyroid. Bullshit. <laughs> Don't listen to your doctor. This is, so what did she do? Carbs? Yeah, that's going to be great. That's going to be great for your thyroid, right? Like, don't do, like, liver with the zinc and cough, copper because that's just terrible for, I mean, the selenium. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Uh, unless he can break down what's in the meat that is bad for hyper, hyper, did you say your hyperthyroid? Hyperthyroidism, as it will put my body through additional stress and worsen my act, overactive thyroid. That doesn't make any sense. Then does not make any sense. A lot of people who develop hyperthyroidism, it's like they are nutritionally deficient. They're not getting enough iodine. They're not getting enough selenium. And they're not getting enough zinc. And vitamin C, because that helps get, get the thyroid hormone into the cells. Then they're stressed. Then their blood sugars are too high. Those are the reason why people develop hyperthyroidism. 12 eggs a day, whole eggs is way too much. You could develop an egg allergy. Does hard boiling or hard scrambling the egg? I think it's a preferential thing. I prefer to fry them. Sunny side up, the yolks. Uh, Shalom, says Clan of Robertson. Pray, pray you're well. Energy, energy. Energy! I'm so well. Y'all, I need to also do another video how I popped out of ketosis when I moved to Tennessee because I was under so much stress. Time creator, I do Canada and U.S. standards are very high. Also frozen before it's safer. Okay. Most beef here in Australia. It's way too lean. It's probably because it's grass fed. <laughs> uh, what happened to the muscle building on keto carnivore stuff? Was looking forward to that one. I don't know how that happened. I think I probably was doing a video for my course group. You guys, I run a course. And somehow somebody said I was going to do muscle building. But I have some videos on muscle building anyway about, you know. Okay, I will, I will do another video on how to build muscle while doing carnivore. Because a lot of people are losing muscle because they're not getting into ketosis because they're eating too much protein. So that should be, let me do a video list. Before I can forget, before I forget, let's see here. Yeah, so we're going to do a video list, list right now because your girl is just spread thin. Okay, so how to build muscle while on carnivore. Okay, let's do that. And also um, how I popped out of ketosis. Okay, let me see how many eggs per day. Uh, just be careful. If they're pastured eggs, you can go a little higher, but I wouldn't be going over six, six eggs a day if it's whole eggs. If you're yolks, you can go way high on yolks. I pan fried liver beef tallow yesterday, and it let me tell you. Oh, let me tell you how delici delicious it was. That's music to my ears, Sharon. Anna 369 says hello. Um, how about eating pork instead of beef? Um, how about rotate all of them? I mean, the Okinawans, AP, you know what's really great is boar. I had wild boar in Texas because they're freaking infested in that area. So I got to have some friends in Texas freeze dry and send me some boar. My daughter is allergic. Okay, read that one. Do you eat sardines? Yes. Is eating avocado every day? Yes. Now people are like, what about the oxalates? The oxalates in avocado are very low. Very low. And do not count the carbs in avocados, my people. And if you're doing carnivore, be an avivore, which is an avocado carnivore. So you can get that fiber, right, for you, when you have need the probiotics to, to repopulate that gut. you got some prebiotic, prebiotic fiber as well as helping the production of diamine oxidase in your intestine and your small one, and in your, your kidneys and your uh, thym uh, thymus. Do you do a lot of biochemistry and immunology research? I guess so, yeah. I would First, I was going to say no, and I was like, I, I guess I do. Actually, I do, yeah. 
Uh, hi, Rock, uh, Ricky. I'm getting a headache when sleeping, and my blood pressure was a bit higher. I think the salt. Probably, yeah. Your electrolytes are off. Typically, people are getting low blood pressure, right, because of potassium. They don't drink enough water, and they don't drink, have enough salt. But some people will over-salt, um, or their blood sugar is still running high. My grandmother loved triple, what? Oh, tripe, dirt, tripe, tripe, tripe. What if you don't have placed this? Okay, any specific meats that can help with cortisol? No. Your cortisol has got to be from eating fresh meats and breathing and going to bed early and following a circadian rhythm and grounding. That's going to help your cortisol. Exercising the right way. Thoughts on eating salmon one meal and then snapper or mackerel. The snapper does not have enough fat and I wouldn't do a bunch of fish. I would add some ruminant animals in there. And you talk about high estrogen levels in men and how to counter it. Yes. And Jetty says, rotating proteins every day continues to help me heal my gut. Stephanie, spot on. Rotating proteins on the daily, 100%. What? Jedi Run, thank you so much for donating. And thanks for proving my concepts of rotating your meats to heal the gut. Okay. I'm learning a lot. I'm going to do a full video on estrogen in men. The aromatization of men, but a lot of men these days are, they're allowing, there's too many, and it's crazy because some men will do like estrogen blockers and you still, people don't understand, you still need estrogen for your heart, like the, the for the, for your heart uh, arteries to be like uh, strong, you still need um, estrogen men for your sex drive, you, because so many men are doing tests and they're, they think that their sex drive is going to increase and then it drops because their estrogen is too low. Um, if you're exposed to xenoestrogens and plastics, if you're exposed to estrogen like in soy, plastics, uh, produce that's a non-organic, if you are exposed to like the water, um, alcohol, the high blood sugar, all of these things can... You have xenoestrogens and then you have estrogen uh, dominance in a male body when the blood sugar gets too high. And then your hormones start to aromatize. Your, this drops your testosterone, your free testosterone, and it spikes your dehydrotestosterone. And the body, and it's like hydro, dehydrotestosterone and then high estrogen. And you start getting man boobs and flabby, can't gain any muscle, low libido, you start balding. It's a thing. Hi Stephanie, 200 grams of fat daily forever for uh, daily consistent. Yeah, if you're trying to be ketotic, yes. 200 grams is not a lot of fat, my people. You think it is. You guys are freaking out. That's not a lot of fat. Um, lifting, very training, and blah, 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 blah. I drop my fat grams. What's the 5'4", 123 eagle? Are you a chick? Let me see. Over. Kimberly, oh, you're a woman. No, no, no. You can't drop under 200, Kimberly, if you're doing carnivore or keto. Like, you just can't do it. You're going to... You're going to go into the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal, the HPA axis of your adrenal and thyroid axis, and blood sugar is going to go thunk, 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 thunk. Even a lot of the people that I interview, or that interview me, ask me to consult them, because the proof is in the pudding. Any thoughts on what BK said about you? No, I have no thoughts. I don't care. I know that he loves me deep down inside. I think that I'm, because I think his criticism, I think he could have come for me harder than what he did because he did a roasting Stephanie video. But I think that, um, I think he just gets pissed because, um, well, I think he's just frustrated in general. But you know what? You know, when we have spoken off camera because we have spoken a few times he's been a sweetheart so i don't know why he's come for me like who cares like get a life like i'm not that important or am i or am i let me see um but i think he could have come for me more i don't have to, i don't i don't i don't i don't have much to say i think he's an intelligent person still do i think that he does that i don't even know what he's preaching now all i know is is that 
that group that he's involved with, that group, that stuff is like, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you don't need fiber to poop, but you need fiber for everything else. You're not going to have your probiotics grow on meat, my people. That's why people's guts are not getting healed on just eating a bunch of ribeyes. They're not. Your gut, gut will plateau, and that's why carnivores should never be done for the for the long term. People are developing high iron. People are developing kidney problems, chronic dehydration, right? They're starting to develop a gut dysbi a dysbiotic gut just because the for the fact that instead of and the constipation, loose stool, dumping uh, protease, dumping lipase, and then people um, you know, having chronic diarrhea for over a year on carnivore and histamine intolerance. And the fact that people are having issues with diamine oxidase, I don't think you should listen to him. I think you should listen to Stephanie because Stephanie's been doing this for almost 16 years and he hasn't, straight up. But if he had, perhaps he'd come to the same conclusion. Which diet is better for you, low thyroid, keto, keto carnivore is not, no. Keto is better than, I don't know why people are doing carnivore, like stop. You don't have to eat a lot of plants on keto. You could eat avocados if you don't have a histamine response to them, or you can eat low levels. I have people, the consultations I have, they'll do it once a day or every day of a little bit, like a meatball size of some plants for the potassium, for the fiber, for any of the other uh, micronutrients that they're not getting from their meats. Did Mr. Mr. BK talk about the potassium that you're not getting enough of in meat and people have low blood pressure? No, because he doesn't know. People are developing so much low, bre low, low blood pressure on carnivore. Uh, I, I am keto. Okay, you're doing keto. Doc says to quit as LDLs. Don't listen to him, Marie. Already he's embarrassing. He's like, don't listen to him. Do not listen to him. You could test your free cholesterol, your total cholesterol. It's going to be high because you're eating high fat, and that's just that. Fat, do not listen to leaner meats. Just don't listen to him. This is like old subject. Roasting videos get views. Yeah, and, and I mean, let's be serious. Like, right, I'm not doing a video on him because I don't care to. I'm not doing a video on him. And he's doing a video on me because right now, People are coming to my videos because they'll do carnivore, because it's trending. Then down the road, they feel like crap. And then they're like, oh, didn't that chick say something about, you know, kid kidney pain on carnivore? And then they start listening. So, of course, he's doing it for the, the views and clicks and all this crap. Yes, but you can look at his body or you could look at my body. And I think I'm older than him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't that the best when, when gurus are like, okay, well, let's go work out, or I, I obviously am in better shape than he is, so which one are you going to listen to? And I'm a woman. And I'm a woman. So, like, if I just try to take away all the science and be like, okay, my body, his body. Hello? I mean... It's not my genetics, it's the epigenetics, so something in what I'm doing is correct. So that's why when people are like, oh, but he, he's been doing this, and I did, like, don't compare. It's like comparing apples to oranges. Stephanie, my 20-year-old son, has been suffering from hypertension. Ooh, that's not good. He eats low carb and works out. He's in great shape and, and healthy. He's not healthy if he's hypertensive. He, uh, he's thinking of going carnivore to help with his blood pressure. If his blood pressure is high, honey, I hope he didn't, I hope he did not get the Pokemon in that shoulder. Because why is a young guy having high blood pressure? Unless he's, his blood sugar is very high, that'll do it. Or if he's doing anything else, and I just don't have enough information to give an opinion 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to say his name because I'm not trying to draw more attention to this individual. I just want to say that I love him and that's all that matters. Oh, you can't wait to meet Juno. I'd much rather look at your body. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. You. <laughs> well, you're a dude, so. Stephanie, have been watching you for a while now. I appreciate what you say. By chance, when are you going to open up your next consultation again? Uh, the uh, January 29th. Let's go look for dates. I want to look at your body. Great info. Here's my. Here's the. Here's the body. Here's the body. That's the body, right? All right. Okay. I'm older than him, and I'm a woman, and I have ten times less testosterone, and I'm in my mid fifties. So it's different when like some young bodybuilder guys like comparing themselves to an older guy like come on dude come at me with my body your body my body your body but that's not the case i'm actually older than him and he's quite old okay ah thank you jimmy cruz hey steph when's the book coming okay y'all know that i'm up here so many things happened in my life okay i got a book deal i canceled the deal because i didn't like the company i didn't like the people they the garbage books they put out i was like i did the math on the deal and i wouldn't make much per book and if i would have put out that book at, um if i would have put out that book at the time i would have made good money but i wouldn't have been proud of this book so now i moved to tennessee and it has been every day is something new like I have a guy using a bushwhacker on a skidster. Okay, I'm learning these country things. And he's clearing off 10 acres for me. And then we're gonna make a cement or a pad so I can put a house. And then today the guy came to drop the friggin' um, gravel because it's been raining and I haven't been able to get off my property because I like live on the bottom of a sink shape thing. So how on the frack and everybody wants a consultation and I'm like sticking some woman in tomorrow and I don't have time to put her in and she's been asking me on Instagram for freaking three weeks and I got to put her in and so I start running out of time to finish this damn book but I will finish it thank you Jimmy Cruz by the way for the donation oh my god model queen <laughs> coffee enemas or what are your thoughts garbage do not put coffee enemas up your butthole do not do that Okay, because you're going to lose a lot of good bacteria doing that. And it might help it stimulate the liver, clean out the liver, but it, it, it completely destroys your good, your good gut flora in the, the top of the large and the bottom of the small intestine. I thought you were in my 20s. <laughs> I was in my 20s. No, I'm just in denial because denial is not just a river in Egypt. Now, I got stuff to do. I, ain't time, I don't got time to age. Y'all know that Stephanie, you know, she keeps it right and tight and I don't have to do clickbait videos <laughs> honey's like he looks younger than you he's younger than yeah he's younger than I think he's yeah I think he's younger than me by like four years or something like that yeah this girl's almost 56 so like a lot of people are younger than me I think I think that Sean Baker and I are the same age. I think that Ken, Ken Berry is younger than me. Sean Baker, same age. Ken Berry is younger. Paul Saladino is younger. Um, I think Dr. Berg and I are on the same. I think he's like one year older. Yes, my people. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much older than most of them. What's up with stuff? I love they appreciate y'all. Very helpful information. Okay, thank you. Very helpful helpful information. I'm super busy. Uh, what's the most bioavailable type of potassium? Avocados. It seems that potassium in it knows it's garbage, poisonous, toxic. Don't even touch it. Caused my heartburn from Dr. Berry's Ken Berry's recipe. Yes. Mm. Don't use no salt. Do not. It's poison. Hi Stephanie, I've been trying uh, to follow your guidelines as much as possible. Six foot three, four hundred pounds, down from four sixty-five. Awesome this summer, eating two hundred and twenty-five to two hundred seventy-five grams of fat. That's too little to be six five or six three. Just too little fat. Tallow in meat continued. Oh wait, I can't continue. 
Uh, I hope you're doing well. Keep it up, but you need to up your fat. Staying if you're foot six foot three, because you're eating as much fat as I am, and I'm a freaking foot shorter. Staying around 95% protein, rotating meats, organs, either one avocado, one cup of cruciferous vegetables. Wake up, ketones were 0 0.6 because your fats are too low and your protein's probably too high. You don't need to eat 95 grams of protein. Yeah, your fats are too low. Your fats are too low. And if you're six foot three and you are up in the fours, that means that your glutes, your muscle development ain't high enough in the whole body, right? The big muscles. So I think 95 grams of protein is too high for you until you can get more muscle development. So I think your protein should be more like, or you said 90, 95, or is it 90, 95? You should probably go down to 85 grams of protein up that fat. Ketones are low. You could have a leaky gut too while your ketones are low. What is reasonable expectation for how long before I get into nutritional ketosis? I can't say that because I don't know what's going on. I just know that your weight shows me that you've had some metabolic inflexibility. And so there's a lot going on there to unpack. I mean, I don't know what your blood sugar is. I don't know what your A1C is. Like these things are super important. I don't know how much you lift. People still have diarrhea after a year of carnivore. Yep. How could they fix that? Don't do carnivore for a year. Don't do that. People did that. People became like cult like with that keto stuff, right? People did keto and then they got into the products and like all the supplements and all the recipes and their health went out the door with them desperately trying to lose weight too fast because it trended. Now that's what's happening to carnivore. So I hope carnivore crashes and burns and dies just like keto. So we can start over again and the real hardcore people will do it right. The next wave once it dies, uh, only have, and how you fix that is diarrhea is typically coming from a dumping of protease or your gallbladder. So these are things you got to work on. You gotta understand, you don't need fiber to poop, but if your body's been dependent on fiber to draw water into the colon and you take it away and you get diarrhea or constipation because of a protease dump, then you might have to do it for the short term or you might have to do carnivore for the short term and go back onto some plants or add an avocado and be an ovivore. I mean, who else talks like me? Well, that sounds very ego, but I feel like very ego tonight. I feel like I really want to live life to the fullest and enjoy being stuffed this one time. Only have seen one or other 54 year old man who looks 18 like you. I'm 55, by the way. I'm not 54. Uh, he said he eats 350, 300, wait, 3,500 calories a day, but goes very hard at the gym. He's probably on. Um, people, women, people don't know how much taking testosterone and um is like doctors give testosterone and hrts and trt out to men and women like tic tacs like constantly so you can't trust people no more you cannot no one not me not anyone at least with me my body's look the same the entire time okay and it just wants like all and the face matches the body that's one big indication of people being on trt if you rough in the face right if you aging here but you you shredded if your nipples have aromatized and they start lactating as a man and they pointy because you had your your memory glands removed okay people don't understand if you see a man's nipples point through his t-shirt and he's older and it didn't used to look like that he on TRT, okay? All right, a lot of you guys don't know this. A lot of you guys are so naive to that. A lot of these men who are in these ages, past like 45 or 48, they're on stuff. All right, just the way it is. Gotta call it like I said. Maybe I should do a video like that. Please men admit that you're on testosterone and stop trying to fool people. Trying to kill an H. pylori infection. Naturally, that caused me to have histamine responses to most foods. Did you know that H. pylori is quite common? It's not always the driver of your histamine. It's the fact that you might have a leaky gut 
and develop H. pylori all at the same time and are going down that cortisol pathway. See, the only fat I don't react to is bacon grease and I'm having a hard time eating enough of it. Well, don't eat bacon grease if it's giving you histamine, that's for sure. My mom had H. pylori, but she does not want to eat low carb. Um, yeah, a lot of people have H. pylori. I had H. pylori. Yes, I had H. pylori. And it's just to change your diet, literally, to get this infection down. My new favorite is oxtail, right? It's the, it's divine. Does lemon and then lemon and water or apple cider vinegar and water in the morning help with liver? Yes. Uh, I love this. Stephanie is right. A few years ago, I tried to shift from strict keto carnivore and lowered my fat up my protein and didn't work. So strict keto works. Steph, what are the benefits of lifting weights for our brain? Uh, endorphins, neurochemicals, and new neurological pathways, your neocortex is creating new connections. I mean, I'm going to put, the, I'm going to relax now to answer to all these questions. Lord have mercy. Don't forget to like up the stream. There's over 100 people in this live, but there's only 50 likes. So you guys forget that liking, and I don't check. I never check. I never have checked. I don't even know how to check. Um, but if you like up the stream, which is clicking on the chat box where you can write and it'll click out and hit the thumbs up, this helps people find me when I'm live and actually just help my channel. So I so humbly ask if you guys can, uh, like up this stream and I hate to sound like a used car salesman, but it really does help. I was debating all day if I should go live, you know, do I have enough time? I hate to do lives this late at night, but um, I'm trying my people. I even spent time trying to really research and fine hone down what meats you guys should be eating on a carnivore diet. And I really think that if you're doing red meat, you should be doing organ meats or you should be doing seafood. You can't just do a bunch of red meat like ground beef and ribeyes. You just can't do it. And a lot of people are doing this massive mistake. And the problem with ground beef and ribeyes is, um, the, uh, that's so cute. Dave says like, liked, like, like the channel, but I can't find the love button. That's really sweet. So thank you. Uh, you got to live late. Um, there's a couple of things that I want you guys to consider, right? Um, yes, you can use the eggshells for calcium but I, I haven't done that for a while. Thank you, Hope to the Max. So here's the thing. Uh, the things I want you guys to worry about is your kidney function. I feel like every consultation I go through, people are going through this massive uh, dehydration. So we're having problems with chronic dehydration and we're having problems with uh, low blood pressure. We're also having a problem with the kidneys because of these like this chronic dehydration, thank you, Rachel. Chronic dehydration, I have consultation after consultation after kidney problem after kidney problem after kidney problem after gallbladder problem. It's a thing. A lot of you guys have your ketones drop. You're like, oh my God, I got great ketones. I got a 1.8 or I got a one, you know, one, a 2.0 and then all of a sudden it dropped down to 0.6. So you guys really have to understand your blood sugar and your ketones. Uh, how to understand your symptomology. You can't just have like good numbers and then you also have to feel good. You also have to sleep deep. You also have to get your freaking ass outside. You also have to get enough vitamin D into your body and on your skin. Or these diets are not, carnivore is not the miracle cure to everything. And these gurus, why do you think Mr. B and, and, and with the other letter, why do you think he did come for me? Because people will do these diets, they'll be very obsessed and dogmatic and cult-like about it. And really and truly, you know, you're not going to get everything from the animal because the animal ain't getting enough. And how do I know that? Because I have horses. I'm not just talking out of my ass in front of my computer with like a nice green screen. No, yo, I lit and I feed my animals. I'm feeding my ruminant, you know, grazing animals. So it's very interesting when you start to get closer to nature, right? When you start to get dirty and I've got like 
I got so much dirt under my nails right now because I'm outside all the time with animals. And, um, you know, the bacterial exposure that you're getting to, the, the sterilization of human beings, like all this stuff like, you know, the, 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 the colon cancer that children are developing because of the processed meats or the freaking uh, people are getting, kids are developing kidney stones from the freaking almond milk. If y'all are drinking almond milk, you better stop right now. I heard you mention cream cheese is junk. Yep. Is it because it has casein from milk? Macros? First of all, this cream cheese is from sick cows. It's from A1 cows. And um, this is not cream cheese made by the Amish. If you buy it at your Kroger's and your Ralph's and your Sam's Club and your Costco, run, Forrest, run. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork. No, carnivore does not heal. Come on, y'all. It is what carnivore can, carnivore can do for the short term is take down inflammation, right? So if you're coming from the standard American diet and it kind of works like a GAPS protocol, you're taking away like you're taking away your bread and your rice and your potatoes. You're taking away, you know, your salad dressing and, you know, you're eating salads and you're seeing the salad in your poop and you're taking away the vegetables that might be the tomatoes that are like jacking up your thyroid and giving you severe histamine reactions. You're taking away the high blood sugar from a lot of these uh, processed whatever and eating this fruits and people have got fructose intolerance and don't know it and people have candida overgrowth and don't know that they have severe candida infestation and parasites they don't know that they have these things until they go off of the foods that feed parasitical infestations like fruits and sugar and carbs and they feel better but then they develop another subset of health issues right because they're not getting into ketosis you're eating all this meat you can't get into ketosis on a bunch of meat meat is not energy that's it's not energy it's building blocks protein is not energy carbs are energy fat is energy right so now the carnivore people went from high protein to now eating a bunch of fat but then there's no science behind it there's no understanding behind how much fat and why the fat and what kind of fat is your gallbladder working so people will go and start eating like a ton of fat now and all of a sudden they were like barfing and nauseous and got more diarrhea because they don't realize that they're having sludge or their gallbladder's not working or they're having a dump of protease you can't just do a gall a, a carnivore diet and you're healed people don't have people who have problems with iron and they're having iron overload or people have a hard time with purines uric acid urea these protein waste products have to go through the kidneys you guys are dehydrated you're running for the keto chow and the element like uh and and, and the freaking no salt garbage like garbage right we're dehydrated we're depending on our biliary duct system and then we're having these minerals that are cheap cheap to mass produce and damaging your organs even more Ooh, i can feel the temperature drop it's going to be like in the 20s I just felt it drop like four degrees inside my cardboard freaking camper. My goodness. Thank you, Mark, you who donated to the super chat who wrote, do you drink water or are there, uh, are there meal plans in the paid member section updated? Not yet. That is something I'm working on currently right now. Like that will get finished soon. I'm going to finish that by the end of February, all new meal plans, and I will put everything in it that I can. I'm also going to run a challenge and Mark's will have meal plans. I'll have a challenge. You can use the meal plans in the challenge um, guidelines if you want to. Uh, I got a lot of work to do and then I've got to, I'm going to build half of the house with these things. I'm going to build my own house and I'm going to DIY it and show you guys how to do it, how to live on a beautiful property on the cheap. Twelve hour beam bone broth is good. No. And no. 
Take bones. Bones smell like a rotting corpse. Why is bone broth so popular? Why, why, why? If you want the nutrition in the bone marrow, eat bone marrow. Baked bone marrow. But once you eat the bone marrow, because a lot of cows eat oxalate-rich foods, you're liberating the oxalates in the water plus the glutamate. Don't eat the bone broth. I changed my mind. Just eat the marrow where it's not being liberated. Stuff's not being liberated into water. Uh, yes, uh, potassium. So what I've learned is that citrate is more gentle on the liver and your kidneys as a potassium source. But there is potassium glycinate, which is also a very absorbable form of potassium. That's what I've read, and it's been consistent. Is that factual? I don't know. Y'all have to do your own research. Don't listen to people like me or anyone else. Do your own research. I was not eating meat, eggs, seafood, and dairy for two years. I was so sick and got Botox poisoning. Oh, yeah. I took all my nutrients that I had, had left. Been uh, doubling down on these. These, alas. These left the veg. Huh? I don't get the comment. Wait, took took all my nutrients I had left. I've been doubling down on these. Left the veg. Don't leave the veg, honey child. You're going to get potassium deficient and you're going to have issues with the gut sealing up. Plants have their place. They're not all monstrous, right? The problem is having plants out of season imported from South America and having it 365 days out of the year with a poor gut wall they've all been genetically frankenstein and their anti-nutrient count is very high so you have to look at your exist existing health and go do i have hypothyroidism maybe i shouldn't have tomatoes do i should do i have uh you know any type of thyroid issue maybe i shouldn't have salads you know what i mean what if i have too high oxalate storage and i'm trying to dump it maybe you shouldn't be having your spinach it's not like all of them are bad, so be very, very careful with this, this cult-like nonsense. Uh, I've heard, uh, I've had to use a hair dryer because the, the lock is frozen. How long can you take potassium citrate if you cannot get a hold of avocado for most time? You can get also, you have to look for an oyster or some type of mussel, mollusk, <laughs> that is high in potassium if you don't want to take potassium, or if you don't want to have avocado. Don't eat a banana. Don't eat a banana. And a banana, a banana will kill people who've got non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So do not eat a banana. Bananas are genetically modified. They used to be about that big and about that thick with big, huge seeds that look like friggin' lemon seeds. And people have a, have a fructose intolerance. Don't listen to that person. Give advice on this channel to just have a banana, which is not high in potassium. Avocado is higher. Mic drop. All right, you guys, thank you for joining the live. Can I get a holla? Can I get a thumbs up before I go? We still are over, way over 100 people on this live and only 73 likes. You click on the chat box, it pops you out. You hit the thumbs up and come back in. And that just helps people find my channel. Whew, I need to relax. It's been a long day. Thank you everyone for donating to the super chat. All donations go to my fur babies. You know, I would have not ended up in Tennessee with this land if I didn't have horses. I probably would have driven, I would have been taking drives between like Idaho and Florida, I think. And um, because, you know, if you did, if I didn't have these big animals, I would just be jumping in my car and just, be, I would be a snowbird and just go south for the, for the winter. But because I did, it's changed my life to have horses and to be outside and all my food. I do not want to go to a supermarket again for any of my food. I'm freaking disgusted and horrified on what they're doing to our food and water and air the face matches the body <laughs> i know i'm sorry but it's true 
look at people's faces and look at their body if you're shredded and you're like eight percent body fat but you look aged in the face nine and it's and it's the nipples too on men i'm sorry men i'm sorry i'm sorry to out the whole nipple thing but a lot of women a lot of men don't know people who take testosterone because they're having extraordinary high amounts of testosterone instantly exogenously into the body and the body's like whoa so it tries to raise the estrogen levels to bounce the sex hormones and when the estrogen starts getting too high their mammary glands start producing milk you can't even make this shite up and so men go and after their nipples start growing they have their mammary 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 glands removed and that leaves a freaking pointy nipple through their shirt okay that's why a lot this industry of plastic surgery and trt i mean i'm in a small town in tennessee and i can count all the freaking men on trt so don't you don't tell me that these men who are talking about you know these diets aren't on trt some of them are some uh wait some of them are not and most of them are Oh, hope to the max. Thank you so much for donating to the to the live. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I forget that the option's there, but as soon as people start donating, I appreciate that people put their hard work and time. It is not to be overseen. So thank you, everyone. And thank you, everyone, for liking up the stream. And I was in a silly mood. You know, it's very, very I'm, I'm going through so many things right now in my life. It's very hard doing what I did, which is getting out of California. I was afraid for my life, my horse's life. People don't believe me, but it's true. I was really worried about where the world is going, and I still am. Um, I also, the fact that my horse pulled me into a place where I'm having fresh water and I have the ability for fresh produce that it is not does not have glyph on it um, and to stay healthy in these times in these troubling times y'all need to wake the frack up because hard times are coming and if you're not getting ready now you won't even know what to do with the future it's not just about the diet it's a whole mind body state of existence it's it's an interesting world that we're entering and you know the more of us who wake up and realize what's happening the more we can just just enjoy what we have no matter if we've damaged our guts or gone through chronic fatigue or if we're getting older it just doesn't matter anymore it just matters from today on how you live your life and a lot of you out there need to be patient. You have to be patient. No matter what disease, no matter what affliction you have developed over time, you can help the body in many ways. You can still live your best life, and it doesn't matter what age you're at. You know, people, I keep hearing, I'm old, and I'm like, but I'm older than you. So if you say that you're old, like, I'm not listening to that. You have to live every single day like it's your last squeeze every drop out of life that you can i will continue to shout this message because we're going to get more people giving each other love right so all of us gurus really really should be loving each other you know it really should not be so competitive and it is we really should be learning and helping but that's not the world we live in we live in the dog eat dog world that's the way it is so um only good time is coming don't follow the hype don't care about nobody yeah no well the hard times are coming for people who don't do not understand how to survive you know people who don't know how to change their job when people went and did got the box of cookies you know y'all know that my code word for box of cookies is way opposite of that people got these boxes of cookies in the last three years and they're like, well, I had to get the box of cookies to keep my job. And I'm like, I would have quit my job. 
And people are like, easy for you to say. I'm like, it's all up here. What you can't achieve. I've been to African villages where people make less than a dollar a day who don't got nothing. They don't have water. They don't have food. So I ain't listen to anybody tell me that, that it's tough here living in the United States. I will not. I will not. Okay? Tough is what you make it. Even though things have been so bad here, we still have a lot more than so many people do. Yes, people are getting competitive, but it's like there's money involved. That's why. You know, and I come around and I just go, don't do carnivore for the long term. Don't eat a lot of protein. Here are all the problems. You know why? Because I freaking talk to people every day, all day. And I get sick and tired of people being sick. Sick, sick, sick. Getting the worst advice. Don't believe me? Watch my real people with real stories talk. Just normal people believing that they're going to find the sun and the moon and some new diet, some cult diet called the carnivore diet, and they're going to heal everything and be perfect, and it doesn't go that way. It happened that way with fasting. It happened that way with the HCG diet. It's happening that way with all these trends with keto diet because people need to stop jumping all in and going all into these things, take a step back, Learn what your existing health is. Know what your body can handle. And don't listen to a bunch of people say that it's that easy. Because it ain't nothing in life that easy. If it's that easy, they lying. Somebody said in my comment section, do you really think blah, blah, blah is lying? I said, do not ask me. You ask that other person. But if nobody, if any of these, car or, or these, these people, these gurus, if they don't ever admit that they have a bad day, then they ain't being totally honest. We all have bad days. We all have to balance our electrolytes. We all have to balance our blood sugar. We all go through the down the cortisol pathway. No diet is the cure-all to everything. No diet is. You are, this is, not what you put in your mouth all day long. That's not all of, you can eat the most perfect food and have the worst way to, to, to create new neurological pathways, to create new habits, new way of thinking, the mind-body connection. Y'all don't get your ass outside. Y'all don't exercise. It is not just about the stupid diet. And I'm so sick and tired of people trying to come up with these, these, these dietary blah, blah, blahs. And then they think they're going to lose weight. And then they're going to fix their gut. And then they're going to fix their hyperthyroidism. And then they're going to raise their testosterone and get rid of their estrogen dominance. Fix their gobble. No. Life doesn't work that way. Nothing is going to, if, if it ain't hard, it, you ain't going to get hit your goal. Life must be difficult because from pain comes joy. You can't have hope without struggle. Okay? So if things aren't easy, if things are easy, then you ain't going to hit your goal. If they tell you it's easy, they lie. Ain't nothing in this world is easy. Okay? We're supposed to be living our asses outside looking for shelter and food, not sitting on in our asses under fake light expecting our thyroids to get healed and get rid of the cellulite and raise your testosterone and feel fantastic. It's never going to happen. <laughs> I briefly saw Thomas DeLauer's new video on keto come back to see if he finally realized the dangers of high protein on keto and he doesn't come to, yeah, to the realization yet. He won't. He won't because he's, he's, he's a team of people. Thomas DeLauer is a face for a team. Understand this. Y'all don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, I could say a lot of stuff, but I ain't going to go there. I lightly scrape the surface on what I know. <laughs> All right, guys, it's enough of me yabbering my ass off tonight. My horse is at my door. Temperature's dropping. They want their damn alfalfa. So I think I better go give it to them. And it takes me five minutes to get dressed because it's going out to be 20-something degrees outside. All right, Thunder. Relax. <laughs> I'll give you your food, my big boy. He's my fur baby husband child. All right, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> I could hear him, right? I have this plastic box outside. I hear him hoofing it. Give me my alfalfa. I'm cold because alfalfa heats their bodies up. All right, guys, thank you so much for today's live. And thank you, everyone, who did eventually um, hit the like button. And anyone who doesn't like that I answered my door to my horses can kiss my black ass because my horses are everything. And being a guru online is not ever. And note, anyone who watches these lives, I will always answer the door to my fur babies. Okay, they number one. Ain't nothing else more important than my big boy out there. That's my boo-boo. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful morning.
and I'm out. Till next time, if you guys want to comment below, tell me what you want me to talk about. You guys end up asking me a lot of consultation questions. I want to know what you guys want me to talk about or research. Um, also, you can go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook, which is Stephanie the Business Person. I have a course through stephanieperson.com. I do have consultations. I will open up new dates at the end of this month. I will do a challenge. I am going to finish my book, and I definitely am going to finish these meal plans coming up very soon. And it's not just meal plans. It's going to have a bunch of guidelines on everything because everything I talk about will be in these documents. And I'm out. Energy at 55 going in 56. Almost 16 years in counting. You don't believe me? Go back to all my videos. Oh, grr. All right, enough of that cardi nonsense. And I'm out. Bye, guys. Have a great life because I will. Get ready. Shite's about to hit the fan. What's up, Thunder? I'm 